five states in Nigeria. I remember uh, when we visited one of the southeastern states. Uh, I, I want to share a story of a 70-year-old grandmother. Uh, and when she came to collect her 5,000 naira, first, some people came with Ghana must go. You know, when we talk about poverty, some people that think... The people came with yes, the, some Ghana. people came with Ghana must go because they've, in, their, in their lifetime, they've never seen 5,000 naira before. So they thought it was, it was a huge amount of money, so they needed Ghana must go to come and collect 5,000 naira. In this naira. country? I, 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 I say in the southeast. Then she came, she was giving 5,000. She started crying. 5,000, one, one. So some people told us that that was the first time they were seeing 1,000 naira notes. And these are people that are above 60 years. But particularly, this grandmother had diabetes. All her children are late, and she couldn't feed for herself. And she told us that this 5,000 naira is what survives her, that she used this money to buy her diabetes medication and to feed. And you know, diabetes patients, they have, food, they have a diet that they have to stick to. But then I thought about it. Over 50% of the 5,000 goes to medication for this woman. Are we really helping our grandmothers and mothers out of poverty in the grassroots? When we talk about social investment, I was excited when I heard about the 500 billion. billion. But what is it that we need to provide? We need to provide social safety nets. Why not ensure that this grandmother can access free and quality health care? She can get coupon to access food. <laughs> So, so you're, you're getting it, emotional. Please, don't because when get you travel, I, I think that we have. Don't make me start crying. I think that we, we have, have lost already. it in the sense that yeah. when we watch, or maybe because we, we have access to television yeah. and a bit of electricity and internet, and we think that we're, all we're, we're well. all disconnected. When you travel just two hours away from Abuja, let's even go to Nancy State. So, so for me, when we, if we want to get it right, let your citizens be able to access quality health care. Look at the Obamacare. This is not rocket science. And I think we need to start asking questions. What is our NHIS doing for us? What, is, what, are, what are they doing? Just about 6 to 8% of Nigerians are, are covered. And let me tell NH you something, NHIS. Nancy. It has to do with politics. Let's not shy away from it. Why is it that citizens are calm and watching that this is going on in Nigeria? I'll tell you. Over 70 million people are illiterate in this country. So what this means is, even our voting force, let's tell ourselves the truth, even our voting force do not even know how to decide for themselves. If you hear that over 90 million people are poor, you know what it tells you? Now let's calculate within ourselves. It means that, Nancy, as you are, you're thinking for over 50 people. Because when they're poor, the only thing they think about is their next meal. Where would their next meal come from? If your citizens do not have roof over their head, they cannot afford clothing. They can't afford health care. They can't afford to drink water. They can't afford to go to school or get health care service. What else is left? And this is about dignity. Mm. It's about dignity. So, again, when we even look at the crisis around the world and how the world leaders even look at Nigeria, we're not dignified. They look at us and treat us anyhow. Why do you think there's xenophobic attack in South Africa? All of this is connected. Why? Your government do not take you serious. Why would the international community take you serious when people are dying just from giving birth? I want to share another story in Imo State. I met a woman that gave birth on a wheelbarrow. And this woman's health care service, her health care, primary health care center, had a budget of 18 million naira. Where did the money go to? This is an oil producing state that beyond federal government allocation, they also get derivation. Are we really asking the right questions? Mm. And are we putting people into power mm. that, have, that have conscience to ensure that they deliver on their campaign promises? No. I'm